Hi everybody, this is Ben Betts from Curator. I just want to talk to you in this demo about the way we use points and levels in Curator. So here I am in the demo. I'm actually at level 3 at the moment in this demo, so I've done a little bit. Uh, in the center of the, the Curator gallery, uh, I can see three objects, two of which are kind of light bluish, uh, one's dark blue, and these two are, are flashing at me. The light blue, uh, which can change from uh, museum to museum, but in this case it represents unread objects. Darker blue ones are those that I've seen before. Those that are flashing at me are unread and at my current level. So these are the things that I should perhaps be concentrating on uh, in order to, to level up. Now the way that point systems works is, is pretty simple, but up in the top right hand corner here you see currently I've got six points, my next level is at eight points. I can get points in three ways. I can view objects, I can contribute to objects, or I can add my own objects. Now in this case I'm just going to show you viewing and commenting. So right now I'm going to view this object and it's a little video which I'm just going to press play on and it'll run there. Uh, a little tip, you can actually use this bar to drag down and create some more space if you need some more space here. Uh, or you can use the, the hide comments button to just take this area all the way down. The amount of time you need to spend viewing an object before you be credited with a point depends on how the curator has set up the museum. It's fundamentally worked on a time basis and typically you would expect that uh, whoever put this together might set it to 8 minutes 43. Now in my case uh, I've only set it to about 20 seconds to give my ch myself a chance here. So you'll notice that now I've been looking at this object it's gone to 1 out of 2 points. Make a comment to get full points. So I can pick up another point here by making a comment. I'm just going to expand this area a little bit and I will make a quick comment uh, now that's not a hugely insightful comment, but hopefully some of you will be uh, much more insightful uh, in the future. Uh, it really is an awful idea if you come to look at this uh, object in any of the demos. When you submit your comment, then you're going to see that the points refresh. I've got two out of two points. My little uh, comment comes in here. Now when I return to the museum, I've actually got eight points and the level three gate is available. So even though I haven't actually read everything at this level, um, I've got enough to, to go ahead and level up if I want to. There's nothing stopping you going ahead and, and leveling up. Equally, you might want to just view everything just to sort of say you've done it uh, or because you think it's worth it. But that's what Curator does. It gives a degree of flexibility about how you interact with things. If you choose to engage more and contribute more, then generally speaking, it's easier to, to sort of get through without looking at everything. But again, the curator has control of that. They can set levels to be easy, medium, or, or difficult. And so this was a medium uh, sort of setting that I, I got through here. If this was on hard, I'd have needed to view everything. So you can get through with that without looking at everything. You might not want to. But those are the basic ways in which the point system works in Curator.